Call Hill High School is one of a handful of high schools on Oahu without a home football field. This is due to the fact that Call Hill was first built as an intermediate school when it opened in 1966. And ever since it officially became a high school in 1973, the dream of having a home football field began. Whenever I spoke to people about Kalaheo High School and asked them what they wanted for their school, time and time again, people mentioned, we want a football field. It would be a cool thing to have, you know, it would be good for the community and the campus to have good facilities, you know, a football field, a soccer field, a place where we can host venues and make money, we can make concession and charge for parking, and there's all kind of ways that it can help the campus besides just the playing of the games. It feels better walking out of your locker room at your school onto your own field instead of catching a bus to another school to play a home game. Now the hopes and dreams of having a home field may come true very soon. That is if everything goes according to plan. In 2004, architect Guy Jennings created a blueprint for Hills Field of Dreams sports complex, but further development wasn't executed due to the lack of funding from the state and difficulties in acquiring additional land from Canary Ranch in order to build Hills Field of Dreams. It's complicated because you guys aren't sort of a school that decides by itself what it does. You're part of a $2.4 billion enterprise called the Department of Education. And so to really get action on anything takes action by the Department of Education. The first step that really has to take place at this point is that we get the land donated to the Department of Education. So right now we've got very good dialogue with the Department of Education and with Kanyuhi Ranch and the Department of Land and Natural Resources. We have all of them at the table right now and we're working on that land exchange. Once we can get that land exchange to Kalaheo High School and the Department of Education, then we can really work on getting funds so we can start the planning and design of the field. Despite these many obstacles, Kala Hill has come the closest it's ever been to getting their own home field advantage, thanks to the support and lobbying of some alumni and backing from the legislator. And I know we've got great individuals who have been leading the charge on this effort for so many years. They want to see this completed. And I'm just really looking forward to being able to, to cut that ribbon and play that first game and have that first graduation on Kala Hill's field. The Mustangs hope the Field of Dreams will someday soon become a reality. This is Shauna Santos from Collahill High School for Hikino.